Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com. Last week, I took a trip down to the DreamWorks Studios in L.A., where I got to tour the studios, meet Jeffrey Katzenberg, CEO of DreamWorks, and find out a little bit about how movies like the upcoming Kung Fu Panda 2 are made to look so good. We also got a demo of the new Samsung Smart TV line, so let's check it out. is bring Matt, uh, Matt Angelari up. He's uh, our senior manager of Convergence, uh, and he's the one that knows all the ins and outs and plays with this stuff, and not only our stuff, but the competitors as well. And he's going to walk you through the new Smart Hub interface. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Angelari. I work at headquarters uh, in Richfield Park, New Jersey. Um, my job at Samsung is to help you guys understand and to help the public understand and our executives really what goes on in, uh, inside of the Smart Hub interface and inside of connected new products, Samsung products and competitors. So we kind of, my job's kind of fun, you know, I get to play with other guys, our stuff too, and it's, it's really interesting. So if you have any questions, please ask uh, and uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get started. So 2010, uh, you know, our main interface was Samsung Apps. Now, the main interface is Smart Hub Interface. Smart Hub Interface offers a lot more to the consumer, you know, in a single screen. So, the, but still the core section of Smart Hub is Samsung Apps. So within Samsung Applications, we're gonna go into that right now. So within Samsung Apps, we can, you know, consumers can, can download free and paid applications, like, uh, you know, we've got some big names in here, like uh, Pac-Man, Namco, that's $4.99 or whatever. And we've got uh, YouTube down here. So let's let's go over here. I know somebody had asked about YouTube earlier, so we're gonna select YouTube. And we'll download this. It's a 3.23 meg. It's pretty small, but we have a nice fast connection here at DreamWorks. And uh, we'll install the app. So now I have a choice if I was consumer, like, well, what do I do from here? You can run it directly from here without going back out to the Smart Hub interface. We're going to go back out to the interface just to see where it went. So um, a gentleman asked before earlier, you know, what, how can I change this? Like, how is a consumer actually going to use this? Right? Because they really want to tailor this interface to, to what they want. They want to see the, the apps that, they're, that they want to use. Right? So we just downloaded uh, YouTube. And it happens to download because we have a lot of other stuff in here right now. It's over here on the second screen. So what we're going to do later uh, when I get down to this area is we're going to organize this and make it really easy for the consumer to choose what they want to what they want to see down here in this section. So so that's YouTube. Now we have YouTube down here. There's uh, the next section that consumers will probably use is your video and search. So we're going to go into the your video service. So what your video is? It's it. It's a service that Samsung offers that aggregates all of our VOD and video services in one place. So you can search for a video, um, like Megamind. Uh, yeah, you better pick the right video here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, let's see if we have Zero people like this. I think this, this might have just come on. And this also, this sets a Korean set. So. Okay, there we go. So here's 300. Right now, this has 3.7 stars. This is within your video. So people can like it or share it. We happen to have 100 people liking this movie. So I'm going to say, I like this movie. It's pretty good. It's violent. It's fun to watch. And then we have in the share section now, I have in social TV, which we'll talk about in a second, I have my Twitter and my Facebook set up in social TV. So I'm going to say, this movie's so awesome, and I'm watching it in in your video that I want everybody to know, right? Everybody's got to know. So I'm going to hit share, and it'll save to Facebook, it'll save to Facebook and, and post it to my Twitter account. And we don't have to confirm it right now. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. So I shared it there. Now, if I want to, I can watch this movie if I really wanted to. So we'll go to, so it's going to be available soon on Blockbuster. Right now we have it available on Vudu. And in future we'll have more uh, VOD services, others that we offer currently, uh, that'll populate here. We're gonna launch Voodoo right now. Has everybody seen Voodoo before? Kind of understands what it is. 
great thing about Voodoo is that, and the reason I'm going to show it, is that it offers really amazing quality to the consumer uh, via streaming. So you can get 1080p uh, quality with 5.1 sound over the internet uh, in HDX. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, hopefully it won't be too blurry, and we're going to move it, we're going to do a two minute stream in HDX. So look up here in the upper right hand corner, right now I have one bar, we'll probably bump up to two, maybe. But this is actually streaming over the internet right now, and this is, looks okay. I think the beginning of this is sandy, so. Kind of noisy. Yeah, kind of noisy. Good question. Yeah. When it said 100 people like this, is that in total across the entire network, or is that just your Facebook type thing? No, actually, that like, okay, that like is separate from Facebook and Twitter. Okay. That like is within your video. So that's 100 people like it within your video. But that's from the population of everyone who has a smart, a Samsung That's smart correct, smart. sir. Yeah, everybody who has access to this has access to your video. So, I mean, this looks really good, so let's, I mean, everybody knows what the movie looks like, so we'll back out of that. Okay, so now we're back here in a smart hub, and so well, let's talk about the recommended section real quick. So like Eric was saying, the recommended section is populated by us. These are applications that uh, analytically are, are very popular or are used you know, constantly. So, so we also put some new applications in here, like Explore 3D is one of our new ones. Explore 3D is going to offer full-length 3D feature films streaming over the internet to consumers. Okay, the DreamWorks titles will eventually be in there. All right. Hulu Plus we have here, Netflix. I mean, these are the old standards. Everybody's got this important stuff. All right, and we have ESPN Score Center, which runs as an overlay. An overlay application, a full screen application, two different types, okay? Overlay application runs sort of like this, where you have whatever you're watching in your source in the background, and you have the other application overlaid on top of it. <coughs> Another great overlay application is Social TV. This is an internal Samsung app. So what Social TV allows you to do is whatever is playing in the background, we have How to Train Your Dragon right now. This could be live TV, it could be whatever, all right? So right now, Oh, here on my Twitter account, you can see your video, director, blah, 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 gives me the information. I just tweeted that two minutes ago. So from social TV and your video, it has this connection, okay, to my Twitter account in the cloud, but also to here in social television. I could actually make a tweet if I wanted to right now. I could say what's happening, and I could be like, you no, know, hi, everyone. And then it will tweet it up there to my account. So it's, it's fast. And it's, it's, this is good for those people who like, they really want to be connected to their friends all the time. They want everybody to know what they're doing all the time. So if they're watching TV and eating cheese puffs, they'd be like, I just ate a cheese puff. And then they put it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, right. So, and then here we have Facebook, same thing. It's posted to my Facebook status. And this is, again, through your video. And then another thing that's interesting here is we have Google Talk Chat. So I have a couple people that are available um, here through Google Talk Chat. And then I could talk to them in chat using QWERTY keyboard. Uh, or with uh, Samsung Tab or a Galaxy phone or Android device. Mm -hmm. Or actually iOS devices as well with our, uh, with our can application. You, can you do other services besides Google Chat like AIM or Yahoo? Right now, uh, this is what we offer. In the future, we might offer some more stuff. We go back into the Smart Hub. So now that we, I mean, we hit all the main stuff up here, right now let's talk about what the consumer can do in this area. So there's a lot of things down here. We, we have we have the schedule, maintenance minders, sources, channels, favorites. You know, these things, these are standard on every television. You're going to see these on every set. I can see everybody, like, I'm never going to, like, I don't watch a lot of pictures. I don't look at pictures. I might not look at music on my, uh, on my TV set. So they can really easily create a folder. So we're going to go to edit mode there, which I use with the yellow button. And then we're going to create a folder called folder one. And um, now we have our little folder that we made here. And I'm going to select some stuff. Let's, uh, let's take videos, photos, music, web browser I'll leave out, channel, favorites, all this stuff, all right? I'm going to say move to folder. It's going to offer me the folders that I made, so they're going to go all into folder one. And now, if I go back out to the Smart Hub, all that stuff that I had out here that might have been, I didn't really like where it was, maybe it was cluttering it, you know, I now have it here in a single folder, and I can move this wherever I want. I don't have to have a folder here, YouTube here, I can put YouTube there, move it around wherever you want to put it. So it's very highly customizable. And yes. you can't edit the name of the app, just the folders, right? 
Right, that's correct. You can edit the name and application. The application is what it is, and then you can you can change the folder name if you want. If you want to put all your VODs into a single one, and you can put make up multiple folders for VOD, one for music, one for whatever. That, that only applies to the stuff below below the folder. Sort of that's correct. This is the area the consumer has control over, which is you know half the screen. Up here, this is a, this is going to be new and recommended Samsung apps and your video. So this this area they sort of have control over depending on what they watch, right? Your video. Then eventually the recommendations will change what videos are shown in the your video space. All right, so let's let's move on. Last last couple of things I want to show you. We've got some interesting. So here in the web browser, so web browser is available on select LED TVs and plasmas. Um, what the web browser is is just uh, oops. I must have uh, killed it earlier by accident. It's a full web browser, full, full flash support, uh, HTML5 support uh, using WebKit browser. And right now this is our Samsung main page. And there's different ways to move around. So standard, you can move around just using tabbing, like you're pressing tab on a, on a keyboard. Or I can switch it to pointer mode, and then you get your little cursor up here. And you can actually move the cursor around just by sort of rubbing your controller. The way it works is underneath the enter button on the, uh, I have really horrible fingers, I'm sorry guys. Underneath the enter button uh, here on the direction pad, there's a little IR sensor inside there. And that IR sensor can sense the movement uh, of your hand over top of it. So we can move the little pointer around the screen. All right, so let's exit out of there, we'll come back to the smart hub.